Hello space fans, Kazumbi here. Welcome back to another episode of Elite Dangerous, the beta version. Wanted to give uh, the Crate Phantom a fair shake after testing out the Mamba. Got fairly decent results with that. If you didn't see my previous video, please check that out. Um, anyway, don't really feel up to combat. A little lack of sleep going on. So, as to not make a fool of myself, I thought I'd equip the crate phantom for a little different purpose uh one of my other favorite pastimes i don't know if we call it that um anyway a little cargo run could be dangerous i highly doubt it we'll take this on it's a uh, to a surface station running a crate phantom modified engineered i should say let's take a look load up that cargo Let's go take a look at the specs real quick. Um, showed this in the in a previous video, but let's take a look. All right. Come on, outfitting. There we go. All right, hard points. Just in case, I'm running four efficient beam lasers. So too large, too medium, simple enough. Utility mounts, double shield boosters, heat sink, chaff launcher, just for variety. Core internals. This is the fun part. Um, got a nice engineered. I think a grade three. Grade three thermal spread. Uh, Power plant. Uh, the best part here. Modifications. We've got a grade 5 dirty drive with drag drives. And to top it off, we've got a 5A frame shift drive. Grade 5 with mass manager. Alright, obviously you can see I'm way over on power, but uh, if I drop that down any lower, it seems to struggle. So, um, wanted to note this. Uh, Frame shift drive, this jump range here is with a Guardian booster, uh, which can be seen here. Uh, so running mostly cargo, again, just to suit the needs. Running a 3A Prismatic provides a shield strength of 436 with those two minimally upgraded boosters. I didn't put in some heavy duty ones. I want to keep the jump range a little higher. Um, I do have a planetary vehicle hanger, just in case. I uh, was kind of equipping this sort of missions, sort of surface stuff, um, detailed surface scanner as well. All right, um, so I thought what we'd do is let's head out to this destination and see what we can see. Let's go here. Galaxy map. Should be a nice close destination, which is not highlighted for some reason. All right, let's head out. Now, coming up this week in Only Dangerous, we've got um, Beta 4 coming. Uh, some fixes to the Mamba, which I'm excited to check out. Hopefully they'll reduce the heat. I highly doubt they'll mess with the turning. Um, I think that is what it is. But that'll be worth checking out. Also, we get Thargoid Conflict Zones. Might be worth checking out. All right. Now, I'm used to running around in a python, so we'll see how this compares. So far, it's pretty quick. I shouldn't say that. It's very quick. Basic 4 pip idle speed here, 417. Boosted. About 582. And again, that's with cargo, so. I do have cargo, right? I do. We are clear, let's go. Overall, it's a, it's a darn good looking ship as well. Um, again, very similar to the crate, but I like the styling changes, the cool little side fin thrusters. That's okay. I was just looking at that. I guess I jumped. That's my fault. Yeah, um, you know, as far as variants go, I like it. 
big fan of the crate so far. Uh, love the cockpit, uh, the view. That's a decent, well-rounded ship, I think. Um, so the crate phantoms, no, no exception. All right, so we're all unexplored here. So let's. There it is. All right. So let's get into discovery mode real quick. How to use, yes. Hope this has not changed. Found, yep, yep, okay, yep, all the things. Pretty sure I've got that. Okay. First things first, let's What are we locked on to here? There it is. Should really bind that uh I think there's an access now for that. Misty Waters Health Club? Okay. Is there anything else in here? Does this guy bet that's a contact? Yep. Avoid dispersal pattern. Alright, let's see what else we got on the spectrum here. Still picking something up in this band. Gas giants. Ooh, I like the little. I don't know if I didn't notice that on the bottom right. Tells you what signal you're actually looking at. I think I, I probably missed that. I would assume. There's a hub. Rock. A signal source there. Right, I give. What's in this area? Nice, all right. Resource extraction site. Still trying to figure out what this is. Big blob. You can't zoom in until you know what it is. Okay. Missions. Interesting, there's all these spots and I don't quite know. Alright. Another one, a little binary. Those are discovered. Asteroid built. Kind of nice, highlighted the whole kind of cluster there. Here 
go. Two signals here. Sorry, I'm just doing the discovery because. Okay, dual resource extraction sites. Those all look like points of contact around it. No, moons. Lots of little moons, all right. Something else in here. More resource extraction sites. Wow, this place is hopping. All right, I'm going to try binding this. Hold on. <clears throat> Tuning. I assume that's what that is. At the throttle axis. That's that's a little unwieldy. I don't know if I like that. Whoa, whoa. That would take some getting used to. Oh, it's still moving. <laughs> <laughs> nope, do not like. Do not like. Alright. Controls. I'll stick to the uh, slider thing. Again, I just I mounted, bound that to my throttle axis. Don't know if that was a good idea. Absolute tuning. Oh. Let's do that. Oh, I like that. That's way better. Here we go. Do we have more? Yep. More. Cool little subsystem there. All right, I give what's in here. Oh, that's nice. Okay, absolute tuning. That's the way to go with the throttle. Right, contact. Looks like my access won't go down all the way. That's kind of interesting. Options, controls. Not a huge deal, but seems kind of odd. Absolute tuning. Pop up a little dead zone there. It still won't go down all the way. Kind of weird. Okay. I don't quite know what these blobs are. It's interesting. All right, let's get out of here. That's enough of that. Now where we're going. Like I didn't get space jacked while I was sitting there with this giant thing of cargo. Kind of surprised actually. All 
right, let's get to this planet. Play a little space golf with probes. Obviously, our destination is marked. Health club out here. All right, let's see if I can remember all the hotkeys for this. Okay, toggle the back side. Direct hit on the top. Bottom. Well, I think I got that side covered. <laughs> Go a little further, huh? There's miss, there's miss. See how that does. Good chunk there. Whoa, that went really far. Scan complete. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> so don't get that so. Oh, nothing cool. Alright, let's land. Of course, if anybody's watched me play in the past, whenever I land on a surface planet, or surface destination, it always seems to be on the dark side. Of course, they improve the lighting, and what do I get? Not dark side. It's close, but... Let's head in. Again, I gotta say, the crates love this view. I know it's not a whole lot different than a lot of the other ships, though, especially the lake on ones, but. I still think it's nice. Breaking. Nope, not gonna happen. <laughs> Meant to do that, I swear. All right, come on. Land. Wasn't too bad loading time. I don't know if the new mission servers are implemented. That's a cool UI bug. Anybody else knows that? Mm, that's at 100, right? Was that 100%? I wasn't paying attention. I was weird. I was expecting a quantity. Cash, please. 
Whoa, what was that? Okay. Very strange. Let's take a look at the crate. Phantom. Um, okay. A little terrain clipping, I guess. It's a pancake. It's a nice looking pancake. Yes, I'm watching my shadow. Hopefully will alert me to danger. I haven't done this in a while. Let's let's just land somewhere. Arbitrary fashion. Ooh, she's a little little slidey. Got an SRV, why not? Take a look. Really the only sense sense of scale you get in Elite. Decent sized ship. Two of them together like that. There's that sense of scale. At least a little bit. I forget I can't use the turret. Close. Hmm. Did the SRV scanning change? Looks a lot blockier. View of the cockpit. About the cockpit's about the size of the SRV. See if I can do this. Ooh, ooh, we're clipping in the planet. There we go. The only reach I get is that little bit. Waters Health Club. Okay, I'm curious. Uh, 
on the other side. That's all right. Oh, no wonder why we weren't going fast. Better. Now, I don't think there's any scenarios added. Anything besides the the mega ships, but take a look. Got a ways to go. It's more altitude. Kind of nice having that back window. Not very big, but. Again, just trying to figure, play around a little bit with the Phantom. Not, not too exciting. Hmm, I hit the wrong button. There we go. Whoa. All right. That's very cool. Huh. Definitely have not seen anything like this. Do a couple of... I think there was a gambling one. Like a medical facility. It's kind of cool. I think I'm upside down. There is such a thing. Cool. Well, I wish there was stuff to do here. Maybe there is. After some wanted pirates looking for a little R and R, hit it. All right, bad joke. Pirates, you know, R. Surprised my ships are around. Emergency craft only. To the spa. It's a spa emergency. Hostile forces in range. Requesting assistance from any nearby pilots. Oh Please yes. Help. You got it. Okay, so how do I do this again? Up here. Defend. Right? Who do I go after? Good. We need all the help we can get. Think you can take out some of those raiders? Must be him. Alright. Let's see what this thing can do with 3A prismatic shields. Good news is it looks like we've got quite a bit of help around here. out.
Where are you going? Oh, you're just done for. There's one of our guys. Cool. I kind of like this. Oh yeah, let's go after this guy. Shields out before he drops another bank. Done. Two remaining. Oh, cool. It's got a little info. Oh, I like it. It says it up at the top, too. Come on, I want to get closer. Engines, get over there quick. Yeah, Phantom's not doing too bad. Definitely not the weapons loadout of the Mamba, though. Something about that huge hard point. Done. Uh oh. All right. Let's see what we got. Wish I had better shields. Get off his nose. I'm down thrusting if you haven't figured that out yet. Not put a good power distribution in here. I believe it's in the Mamba. Oh, again with the chaffing. Oh, I got a shield problem. I got a big shield problem. around like crazy. Corpse correction. Okay, ship. How do we do this now? No, there it is. Come on, little guy. It's who's left. Alright, good news is everybody's on him now. Or 
else, what do I do? Get right in the middle of it and not be prepared. Got him. Shields anyway. Ooh, and our shields are almost done for again. Is he picking on me? You know, there's other people here. Alright, I want to see this finish. far. Let's do that again. Interesting on the wait time. Guys, he let his shields get back up. There we go. Hopefully there isn't a third wave. Still another one? Keep it up. There's more. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I need a bigger boat. All right, let's just wait. If I die, it's gonna send me back to the service station, isn't it? I don't want to do that. Let's just get out of here. Alright, that's pretty cool. Yeah, beacon. Hmm. Alright. I was just griping there needed to be stuff to do here. Note to self. Be prepared if you deviate. No, I already retracted. And this thing does really whip around. Sorry if you get motion sick. Well, that was fun woefully unprepared for my skills, but that was neat. Kind of want to go get the mom, but come back. Next time, maybe. After they fix the heat issues. We'll find something fun. See how long that lasts. I'm, my bet is like three waves. It can't be continuous. But then again, I don't know. I do think here in the system, yeah, there's a couple, couple ships that might be worth it. A mega ship, I believe that's what that is. Science, like a class science vessel. Maybe we'll have to go check that out in the Mamba next. Anyway, Cram Cray Phantom, thumbs up, decent ship. Decent internals. Um, 
I wouldn't necessarily say it's an Asp Explorer replacement. Uh, the jump range is decent. Now, granted, I'm not, like, set for exploration, but... Wait, where do you see... Okay, he used to know where this was. Where do you see your jump range? Oh, right there. Current. 49. I think my Asp Explorer got engineered with Guardian uh, Boost. Got about 60? 65? I don't know. I could be wrong. I'll just double check that. So it's about... Great Phantom is about 10 short. But it is a decent alternative. Um, 10 light years to some folks wouldn't matter, but like that little bit of an edge. But the internals are obviously way better. I think the combat capability is way, way better than an Asp Explorer. So yeah, trade offs, as usual. Uh, that is the elite fashion. All right. I'm not going to make you watch me dock. I think you get the gist of that by now. Anyway, um, this has been Kuzumi. Thank you so much for stopping by. We'll be back with more Elite Data, Elite Dangerous Beta coverage uh, here in the coming days. So I'll be back. Stay tuned. Don't forget to hit like or subscribe because that's what keeps me going. Um, did want to mention, holy cow, new followers. Thank you all. Uh, viewership has gone up crazy thanks to the beta coverage. So that's really cool. Thank you all the new folks who have joined me. And of course, to everyone else who's been around for a while. Thank you so much. I'll catch you all next time.